57, no red dot or dash or doodle. That means Jesus never even uttered any of the words. Everything is a black, black, black. This is what Jesus is supposed to have left, which he didn't. These are things written about him. He didn't write a word, and not a word was written in his lifetime. The mission of these two respective prophets, Jesus and Muhammad, their mission. Jesus Christ, he says, he's come only for the Jew. That's what he says. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24, you read there, that a Greek woman comes to him with a problem. Her daughter is seriously ill. And she comes to know that this mighty messenger of God has got some mysterious powers, miraculous powers. So she comes to Jesus wanting her daughter to be healed. So Jesus turns his face away. She is persisting. So the disciples say, look, this woman is persistent, drowning woman, clutching at straws. Drowning man does the same. Drowning woman, her daughter is Life is at stake, you know, you said, Master, please, help my child. So he tells her, and through her, he's telling the whole world. He says, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, of the Bani Israel, the lost sheep of the Jews. Only I'm sent for them. And when the disciples persist, he says, do not throw the bread of the children to the dogs. Who are the dogs? Another place Jesus says, do not throw that which is holy unto dogs. Do not throw pearls before swine. No Jews would throw pearls before these pigs. pigs. They're talking about human beings. To, the, to him and his people, the Jews, the rest of the world, they are the Jews, the chosen people, the children of Abraham, and the rest of the world is goyim, Gentile, unclean, uncircumcised. So he says, do not throw the bread of the children to the dogs. Who are dogs? All those are non-Jews. You, me, the British, the whole bang lot. We are all dogs and pigs, according to the scripture. All, everyone is dog and pig. I have not, not come for that. But this poor woman, her child's life is at stake. What does she do? She says, Master, even the dogs have crumbs, crumbs, you know, from the master's table, crumbs. So Jesus says, give her the crumbs. Crumb is the healing. Give it to her. And she was healed. The child was healed. Thank God. But that's the crumbs. The blessings, the teachings are not for the Gentiles, not for the non-Jews. They are all dogs and pigs, according. He's telling his disciples. He said, go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go ye rather unto the lordship of the house of Israel. Throughout his life, throughout his life, he never preached to a single non-Jew. Among the 12 disciples of Jesus, not one was a known Jew. The Jews, 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 100% Jews. He never preached to the Greeks, he never preached to the Romans. He never preached to the Palestinians. He preached only to the Jews, they are his children, according to the scripture. But of course, if people want to go and take it, because they say, look, we are hungry, we are dying, that's their business. But according to Jesus, he said, look, these are all dogs and pigs, and they don't deserve these blessings, the spiritual teaching which he has brought for his own children, the children of Israel, the Jews. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa according to the Holy Quran, we are told, he is made to say, wa ma arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil alameen. See, we have not sent you, O Muhammad, but as a mercy to Alameen. Alam is the world and Alameen are the world. To the universe. I have sent you as a mercy to the universe. Allah. Allah. This I quoted you, this ayah, from Surah Ambiya. Surah Ambiya. Now, where do you find Ambiya? You see, it's a good practice. It's a good habit. When anybody, at any time, any learned man, he gives you references from the Holy Quran, you know, says this is in Yasin Sharif, this is in Surah Zumar, this is in Surah Baqarah, this is in Surah Talaq. What you do, if a man gives you a reference, go and check it up at home. Not that you distrust the speaker, that the man is pulling a fast one on you. No. 
you owe it to yourself because if you go and verify, check it up. What happens while you are reading it for yourself now, what you had heard, it refreshes your memory. And once you read it and allow the thing to penetrate through your mind, it becomes your property, that knowledge. For the moment, this is all entertainment. It's nice, it's at the end of this, yeah, man, it was very nice lecture, I liked it very much, it was fantastic, you know, it is very good, it was, so on. It ends there. But once you go and verify, Surah Anbiya, what does it say? Where is it? Where do you find it? Very difficult. You don't do it because, it's, you know, it's very difficult to the non-Arab, especially us. I don't know how the Arab does it. But to you at home, where are you going to find Surah Anbiya? How will you find Surah Anbiya? 